I would always tell my students, you know, um, anything that you want to do, go ahead and give yourself a chance. Mm -hmm. Try it. And so one day, one of my students asked, um, Miss, did you always want to teach? Um, what, what have you, what do you want to do? And I thought, that's a really good question. And automatically, um, cybersecurity came to mind. And I thought, why don't I give myself a chance? I had a friend that was also in Springboard that recommended the program. And luckily, cybersecurity was just added that month. And so I joined uh, the program. But uh, the transition from teaching to cybersecurity um, was actually not a difficult choice to make. So I was very fortunate that that was in place at that time. In college, cybersecurity was like starting. It's like the new trend, right? So actually, I think it's um, starting to be spoken to more about academically. But there was no career option, right? You were, so we, there was either computer science or something related to that. Right. Um, so that's when I first heard about it. And as I started my internships as a communications intern, um, I was learning more about it from talks. And that's when I was really intrigued. However, as I said, there was like no really, no real career trend, career set for cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. And so, um, when I saw that it was a part of the Springboard program, I was like, oh, this is like a sign. <laughs> For me, cybersecurity is like the new frontier. It's like unknown. Innovations are happening every day, right? And that's what really attracts me. Aside from the technology aspect, being a part of something that is Changing every day is what really motivates me to want to be a part of something, especially as a, I think a, um, a woman of color, not mm -hmm. seeing representation uh, in the field, considering myself a role model for my students, I would really want them to see me continue my, uh, my new adventure. I've actually joined WISIS, so Women in Cybersecurity. I've seen a group of women really come together and to help each other out, mm -hmm. trying in the field. And that was one of my hesitations also to join, just because I, if you look at meetings or um, uh, events and cybersecurity, they're usually led by men, right? Mm -hmm. So seeing this group of women come together, having these workshops being led by women, was amazing. This group of women have really opened this field to me. After I complete my course, I really would like to join cloud security. I really enjoy cloud computing. I recently joined a jam session with Amazon Web Services. I really enjoyed that. It was so much fun, especially just joining with a group of women that I never met, I would love to mentor. So I would like to continue helping youth, especially mm -hmm. here in my community. So I think that really solidified um, my dream. I'm like, oh, I really want to continue this. My teaching background requires a lot of communication and breaking down ideas right? and so mm -hmm. really complex issues and so far I've done a lot of reports where I've had to break down these complex issues and that's mm -hmm. helped me out a lot I could do that with ease but also communicating I think a lot of uh, cyber security security in general is communicating with your peers and right. um, those soft skills have really helped me um, learn from others but also collaborate Cloud computing has been my biggest interest. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I think that in anything ethical hacking, especially nowadays, is very important for every company, if it's small or large, just because of the constant threats these companies face daily. In order for someone to test their system and really know their posture, their security posture is very important uh, to have ethical hacking involved. Well, I think two misconceptions. One was two that I had myself. One was that it was very difficult for women to get into. And second, that it's difficult to get into if you don't have the skills. 
Uh, for some reason, I thought that you had to be born with the skills of the TV and cybersecurity or tech in general. But no, it's actually these are people that are constantly learning. There are so many resources out there to begin their journey, right? To begin the tech journey. And cybersecurity is a place where you can begin at mm -hmm. any age, I feel, despite your background. And also, it's a place where there's so many women that are a, a part of cybersecurity, but also willing to help and get you started. So it's actually a very, very open field. I love it. <laughs> For me, I, I had a full-time job, right? I have a full-time job and the flexibility that it offers was amazing. Also those mentorships with my mentor Jay Jane. Talking to him once a week, going over what I've learned. Just having that one person to bounce back ideas and communicate weekly made a huge difference. The curriculum is very easy to navigate. Um, it offers breaks, so it's not just learning uh, skills every every day, but it's a break to also gain those career networking skills that we need to get our first job. I chose Springboard because of the flexibility that it offered. I think a lot of programs are very rigorous and you have to attend uh, classes at a certain time. And for me, that just wasn't uh, an option. That was like the main reason. And also, uh, I have several friends that have already been a part of the program and that just loved it. Having people back it up really made that, uh, that clear choice for me to start in. And the other programs that I have seen have not have that reception to the program as much as I have seen this personally. And I think seeing other people also succeed have made me want to join the program because seeing them making also those career transitions um, and having them like it and succeed also um, made me want to be a part of it. A career in cybersecurity or making a career change in general um, or starting a new career is not an easy task. We're the hardest on ourselves. And um, as I tell my students, give yourself a chance. You know, um, there's always um, the hardest part is starting. If cybersecurity is really an area that interests you, give yourself a chance. And for me, the program has really helped me. It's um, it's a step-by-step -step process, and um, I think eventually uh, they'll be able to reach their goals. But I think the number one, number one thing is just to give yourself a chance to get started.